What's up, risk managers? My name is NASDAQ Anonymous, and I'm addicted to the NQ. And boy, is she one hell of a drug. And welcome to tonight's NA meeting, where we'll discuss the economic data for the week, analyze today's session, and from that, build a winning game plan for tomorrow's price action. And if you haven't done so already, you can show your support by subscribing to the channel. And with that said, let's jump into the charts now. This is tomorrow's data. Be mindful that all times are in central time. And we have a big block of news scheduled for tomorrow, so let's jump into it. At 7.30, we have initial and continuing jobless claims for the month of July. Also at 7.30, we have the Philadelphia Fed for the month of July. At 11.45, we have Fed Logan speaking. And after the close, we have Fed Dolly and Bauman speaking. And now that we know what to expect, let's jump into the charts and create a game plan for tomorrow's price action. This is the block of price action that we traded during today's stream, and the day was definitely a trend day. To be more accurate, today was a massive sell-off day. In last night's NA meeting, we talked about price being in a micro downtrend. Overall, the structure was bullish, but we saw this micro downtrend. And if I trusted the top of this trend line more last night, man, look at the reward that we would have had if we would have just trusted the structure. Lately, the bulls have been breaking out of every downtrend. And this time I expected it to be no different. However, we saw the bears completely defend their position and we saw this massive 600 point move to the downside. But here's what we really need to talk about. We need to talk about all the levels that price just traded through throughout the session with little to no price action. We did see price finally consolidate in a range towards the end of the session. However, I do expect for this to actually be potentially where the bulls come back in and actually try to rebalance some of these higher structure. Because if you were a bull and you got into previous areas of demand, you quickly became liquidity for the market because the market literally went straight down. And if you take a look here on the hourly chart, you can see that the entire day from the start of last night's session to the end, all we had was bears selling out of their positions. All we had was bears selling this market and bulls having to be forced to sell out of their position. And uh, this is this is pretty new for bulls. So I'm very interested to see how the bulls are going to recover from this. Now, we do have earnings going into next week corporate earnings next week. So because we're going into a new earnings season, this big massive drop shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. But what was the surprise was that these bears came out of nowhere with full force. And basically, if we do see price trade back overnight, we can expect for the bears to come back in for at least a double bottom or a break of that low. And we're definitely going to have to use the price action overnight to make a decent game plan because the market is trading to the upside as it opens. But overnight, we're definitely going to see how the bears are going to react when price retests higher structure. Now, if you're enjoying the content and appreciate the value that me and my trading partner provides to the trading community, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the release of our next NA meeting and live streams. And with that said, let's jump into an ES chart. This is an ES chart, and this is the block of price action that we traded during today's stream. And just like the NQ, we saw the ES have a massive sell-off from its highs. Now, if you remember from last night's NA meeting, we saw that the market actually took out its all-time highs before making this run down lower. Now, my initial theory last night was that we was going to see a break a retest of somewhere in this area and possibly a move or a continuation move going to the upside. However, we did not see that. We saw the bears selling this market and the bulls helping them by having to sell out of their position as the market went lower. And just like the NQ, we saw price, we saw price begin to consolidate in a range towards the end of the session. Now, when I start to see consolidation, that tells me that the market is preparing itself for a move to the up 
or downside. And based on this structure, I do feel that we will see price continue to trade overnight. But the test that the bulls are going to have to pass is once it gets into these higher structures, they're going to have to push past these structures with some authority. Because with all this bearishness, you can expect for bears to be lurking at these highs. And as price begins to trade back into these highs, we can see the bears knock price down. And as it goes down, adding selling pressure. So far, it does seem that the market does want to use this area as new support and trade higher. However, I would prefer to actually go a little bit lower and trade around that 615 area if we see lower prices on the ES. And so that's what I'm going to be looking for with the ES. Now, it's very important that we sit on our hands in the pre-market. I wouldn't get into any position until the market opens at New York Open because the price action overnight, the structure that it forms is going to give us clues on how to trade in tomorrow's session. And it's a good way to keep us out of trouble. And in summary, we did see a massive sell off on both instruments. And today marks one of the NASDAQ's worst days since 2022. We did see micro technologies earning today. It does appear that they did beat their earnings and this will set the tone for semis and AI. And finally, we did see price start to consolidate towards the end of the session. Uh, I do want to see how price reacts around these ranges. And during tomorrow's stream, we're going to trade accordingly. And that's all I have for tonight, risk managers. And you can watch us trade these concepts live by clicking this video. We'll see you there.